Inferences or questions that ask for the choice that most logically completes the text are one of the hardest SAT reading questions. And I'm going to share the strategy me and my students use that makes it one of the easiest questions. I'm Mohammed, and I help students boost their SAT reading and writing score through our programs. So the way we can solve these questions is using the GPS method. The G stands for get asked. When you're reading the text, imagine that as you read each line, a stranger asks you, what does the text want you to understand? That's exactly how you should go about it. Let me show you what I mean with this first and easy example. In many cultures, a handshake can create trust between people. So what did the text want you or want us to understand? The text wanted us to understand that handshakes build trust. Next line. Engineer Huawei Avellino and his team are designing a robot to shake hands with a human in order to improve human-robot interactions. Again, what did the text want us to understand? The text wanted us to understand that engineers are building robot hands. The robot hand adjusts its movement and pressure to better imitate the feel of a human hand. What did the text want us to understand? The text wanted us to understand that the robot hand adjusts to copy or imitate the feel of a human hand. Now, before we read that last line that's connected to the blank, ask yourself, what is the overall message that the text wanted me to understand? The text wanted us to understand that handshakes build trust, so engineers are building robotic hands that feel like human hands. Now, let's go back to the text and let's move on to the second letter in the GPS method. P stands for predict, because we need to predict what we will put in the blank. The researchers want the robot's handshake to feel realistic because, because what? Because handshakes build trust. Pretty simple, right? Now we will move on to the third and last letter in the GPS method. The S stands for select, because we need to select the choice that matches our prediction. Choice A says, lifelike handshakes may make people more comfortable interacting with robots. Yeah, this could be true because handshakes build trust and make humans more comfortable when interacting with robots. Choice B. It is easier to program a robot to perform handshakes than it is to pro program a robot to perform some other types of greeting. This has not been mentioned in the text at all and is completely off topic. Choice C. People are less likely to interact with robots that don't, like, that don't look like humans. The text does not mention this and this does not match our answer prediction, which is handshakes build trust. So this is wrong. Choice D. The robot in the researcher study may have uses other than interacting with humans. This is completely off topic and therefore choice D is also wrong, which means choice A is the correct answer. Now this next question seems similar, but it's harder. Therefore we need to simplify the line connected to the blank as well. But before we solve the question, you can join our free community where we have daily classes, lots of PDFs with strategies and one-on-one -on -one access to me. Here's the next question. Euphorbia isola leafy spurge is an Eurasian plant that has become invasive in North America, where it displays native vegetation and sickens cattle. Again, let's start with the G, get asked. What did the text want us to understand? It wanted us to understand that Euphorbia isola is a plant that sickens cattle. E isola can be controlled with chemical herbicides, but that approach can also kill harmless plants nearby. Chemical herbicides can control the plant, but it damages the good plants. Again, before we move on to the last sentence that's connected to the blank, what was the overall message that the text wanted us to understand? The text wanted us to understand that Euphorbia isola is a bad plant that can be controlled by some chemicals, but those chemicals can, can damage the good plants. Now let's go back to the text and let's move on to the second letter in the GPS method, P, predict. Recent research on introducing engineered DNA into plant species to inhibit their reproduction may offer a path toward exclusively targeting ES solo. Consequently, so basically it is saying that there's a way that only ES solo will be affected. So the good plants won't be affected. Pretty simple again. Now let's move on to the third step in the GPS method. S. Select. We need to select the choice that matches our prediction. Choice A, making individual ES solo plants more susceptible to existing chemical herbicides. This is wrong because it's saying that more ES solo plants will be affected by the chemical herbicides. This might sound correct, but ES solo can already be affected by those herbicides. And we're looking for a choice that says the good plants won't be affected. So be careful. Choice B, enhancing the ecological benefits of ES solo in North America. But ES solo itself is pretty horrible, so this choice is obviously wrong. Choice C. Enabling cattle to consume ES solo without becoming sick. 
The text does not talk about cattle, and we should look for the choice that says the good plants won't be affected. Choice D. Reducing invasive ES solar numbers without harming other organisms. Yeah, perfect. This could be correct because it is saying that the ES solar numbers will be reduced or lowered without harming the good plants. Now, this is the final and hardest question. Let's use GPS one last time. G. Get asked. In a study of the cognitive abilities of white-faced capuchin monkeys, we don't need to read this name, researchers neglected to control for the physical difficulty of the tasks they used to evaluate the monkeys. So what did the text want us to understand? It wanted us to understand that the scientists didn't make sure that the tasks they gave the monkeys were all the same level of difficulty. So maybe some are much harder and some are much easier. Next sentence. The cognitive abilities of monkeys given problems requiring little dexterity, such as sliding a panel to retrieve food, were judged by the same criteria as were those of monkeys given physically demanding problems, such as unscrewing a bottle and inserting a straw. What did the text want us to, do, to understand? The text wanted us to understand that the mental abilities of monkeys to do simple tasks and very hard tasks were judged by the same criteria. Now, what was the overall message that the text wanted us to understand? The text wanted us to understand that the scientists ignored the difficulty of each task and measured the cognitive ability for each activity the same way. Now, we will use the second letter in GPS, P, predict. The results of the study, therefore, are unreliable because they could suggest something, but those things could be false. Now, we will use the third letter from GPS, S, select. We will select the answer that matches our prediction. Choice A could suggest that there are differences in cognitive ability among monkeys, even though such differences may not actually exist. Yeah, this could be right because it says that the study could suggest something, but those things could be false. But let's check the other choices. Choice B or useful for identifying tasks that these monkeys lack the cognitive capacity to perform, but not for identifying tasks that the monkeys can perform. No, this is wrong because the study is unreliable and not useful. Choice C. Should not be taken as an indicative of the cognitive abilities of any monkey species other than C imitator. This is also wrong because this says that the cognitive ability of any other monkey species should not be trusted except for the study on C imitator, which is wrong. Also, it does not match our answer prediction. Choice D. Reveal more about the monkey's cognitive abilities when solving artificial problems than when solving problems encountered in the wild. This is completely off topic and doesn't match our prediction. So choice A is the correct answer. Just a reminder, you can join our free community where we host daily classes to boost your SAT English score by 100 plus points for completely free. Since you watched this video, that might mean you're struggling with cross-text questions as well. Click this video to watch me solve cross-text questions in a fast and simple way.